Blog Talk Radio. Hello and welcome back to Sports Kingdom. I'm your host, joined by the King, joined by Sean Elmer. So, Sean, let's get right to it. But first, let's get to Pittsburgh versus New York. New York defeated Pittsburgh in seven games. I predicted Pittsburgh to win this game, but New York – well, actually, no. I, I predicted New York to win this game all because all cause of their depth. So, New York won this game in seven, which leads me to ask you, Sean, but – but uh, what what happened to the Pittsburgh Penguins? Uh, I don't know what happened to the Pittsburgh Penguins, to be honest, Julian. I thought they would be the team to beat the Rangers because of Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin. But uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, he looked suspect at times throughout the playoffs, and I question his ability moving forward as the Penguins' goaltender. Uh, maybe it's time to give Jeff Zatkoff a look. But, oh, I, I got to say, I mean, the Rangers, they've impressed me. I mean, the, after the way they outlasted the Flyers in the first round and then beating a team with Evgeny Malkin and Sidney Crosby, two of the best players in the world you, uh, in uh, hockey today, I mean, that says something about your team. And the Rangers, they're on a roll right now. Yeah, but talk about the Pittsburgh Penguins. I think I think Pittsburgh needs to address their defensive depth. They also need to address their goalie situation. Mark Andre Fleury is no no further a guy to trust, a guy to trust in goals. So they got to address those two areas. But other than that, other than that, let's talk about the news that leaked. Not too long ago, but the Pittsburgh Penguins, um, days after losing to New York, fired their head coach and general manager. What are your thoughts, Sean? Well, actually, contrary to reports, they fired Ray Shiro, the general manager. They retained Dan Bilesma for now, Julian. So to give an update on that, I, I it was originally reported that Shiro and Bilesma were out but it came out yesterday that, uh, in in fact, uh, that Bilesma was uh, retained for now. The, whoever the new general manager is hired to be by the Penguins, that person, he, he is going to decide the fate of Dan Bilesma. But when you have a roster that includes Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin on it, and you can't get out of the second round. You've struggled for the past, like, five postseasons ever since they won that Stanley Cup four or five years ago. Uh, I think that puts your head coach in question. So if I had to give my guess, I do think in the end Dan Bilesma will be out as head coach. And, frankly, I'm not too high on Dan Bilesma because he underachieved as being the coach of Team USA in the Olympics. So I think... It wouldn't surprise me at all if Dan Bilesma was indeed fired in the end, later in the offseason yeah. by the Penguins. Yeah, I won't be too surprised either. Next series, Boston and Montreal. Sean, you predicted Montreal to win in this series against Boston. What did you think about your prediction being correct? Uh, uh I just, something told me that it was Montreal's time. You know, Boston, yeah, they had, the, they won the President's Trophy. They were the best team in the regular season, but, and they had Tuka Rask, a great goaltender. I'm not taking anything away from him, but Kerry Price played well in that series. But, uh, uh, Montreal, they looked very good in that series. Uh, and they looked like they were ready to take that next step forward. Uh, as we'll get to in a few moments, I don't know if they were ready to take that next step forward today against the Rangers in game one of the East Finals, but in that series against Boston, they took a big stride and got to the East Finals, so we'll see what happens with Canadians moving forward. But, hey, big win 
You beat your rival, your hated rival, to move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Great job by uh, Michel Therrien with his Canadians. Yeah, and kudos to Carey Price. Kudos to Carey Price by getting getting on to the Eastern Conference Final now, Sean. If you had to name the better goaltender, who would it be, Henrik Lundqvist or Carey Price? Well, just to give an update in case for those who are wondering, Rangers did succeed in taking Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals in a resounding route, 7-2 to the final. So through one game of this East Finals, you have to give the edge to uh, Henrik Lundqvist. Henrik Lundqvist, even though in the series, I think Montreal will find a way to bounce back from today's 7-2 to two loss at home. But I just think the Rangers had, you know, it was their day. It was meant to be their day in this game. But uh, I just think in this series moving forward, I think Montreal's going to end up taking this series and moving on to the cup finals. Uh, but today, through one game, I'd give the edge right now to Henrik Lundqvist over Carey Price. Yeah, I, I'd give the edge to Henrik Lundqvist as well. Henrik Lundqvist has admittedly done better than last, last season, and I, I don't think I don't think Montreal is going to stop. Uh, has what it takes to reach the Stanley Cup final this year. Has what it takes to reach the Stanley Cup final this year. Not too long ago, two years ago, the New York Rangers reached the Eastern Conference final but came up short against the New Jersey Devils. I don't think that will happen this time. I don't think they will come up short this time as I'm taking New York over Montreal. Let's get on to the Western Conference, but Chicago, Chicago versus Minnesota. Chicago won six against Minnesota. The Defending, defending Stanley Cup champions won in this series as as um, the whole team did pretty well. So, Sean, uh, what about Chicago? Uh, in that second round, it was no surprise. I mean, nothing against my boy Zach Parise in the wild. They have a good upstart young team out there in Minnesota, but they're playing, they got matched up against a team that's, you know, on a roll right now. Uh, they're they're just the Blackhawks getting, ever since they got Kane and Taves back at the start of the postseason, they've been on a roll. So uh, I wasn't no surprise to me that the Blackhawks beat the Wild. I mean, uh, yeah, I would have liked to have seen the Wild give the Blackhawks a little bit better of a series, but hey, you're you are going up against the defending Stanley Cup champs. So uh I wasn't too surprised by that series result. Yeah, uh me me neither. I, I uh I picked Chicago to win this series and we're we're pretty sure they'd advance on to the Western Conference Finals. So last series before we get on to the Western Conference Final. Anaheim versus Los Angeles. Now, Los Angeles brutally defeated Anaheim last night, six to two, six to two, and goaltending has been a major problem for the Anaheim Ducks throughout the, this postseason. The, they've they've switched on and off with Hiller. So, so my question to you, Sean, is. Um, why, why did the Ducks fail to capitalize in this series against Los Angeles? Well, to me, Julian, they did have, they actually switched, uh, end up going from Hiller to Frederick Anderson, and then when Frederick Anderson got hurt, they went to John Gibson. So, a rookie goaltender who they just happened to call up, and, uh, it put a lot of pressure, and Gibson didn't look well at all in net last night in Game 7, even though he was on home ice and he played well throughout his first few starts in the postseason at home. He just did not put 
come out and play his best game. And when it comes down to the two most famous words in sports, game seven, you're required to play your best game. And Gibson clearly did not do that. And, and for me, it goes back to the Kings having two words, Jonathan Quick. Uh, I think John Quick and his experience of having been there and done that over the past few postseasons, as we all know, I think he was had a lot to do with why the Kings were as successful as they were in Game 7 on the road. Hostile environment, Honda Center, and they just went in there and they brutally beat the uh, Ducks. They took it to the Ducks, took it to another level, and they're, they're a, a team that, you know, I thought Anaheim may give Chicago a series. I really think, as we're going to... Uh, you know, we're going to get to, I think the Kings are going to give the Blackhawks a big series coming up in the Western Conference Final. Yeah, well, we thought the Kings would meet up with the, the New York Rangers back in the 2012 Stanley Cup Final, but, Sean, do you believe Los Angeles will firstly defeat Chicago in the Western Conference Final and then advance on to the Stanley Cup Final where they'll take on the New York Rangers? Well, uh, first of all, Julian, I, as much as I want to take the the Kings, uh, 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 this is such a tough series for me to call Kings Blackhawks, but I just... Uh, 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 the Blackhawks, for me, are like the Miami Heat right now in basketball. They're just, you know... They're the defending champs for a reason. And Corey Crawford has really stepped up his play uh, in the past several clinching uh, games, series clinching games. He's played really well. And I just think when push comes to shove, i got to give the ever so slightest edge in this series to the Blackhawks. I'm going to take the Blackhawks in a hard-fought seven-game series. It's going to be the Kings are going to – slow down the Hawks, and it's going to be your – I think you're going to see a lot of low scoring, like 2-1, to one, one nothing, uh games in this series. The Kings are going to be strong and physical with the Hawks, and they're going to push the Hawks to the limit. But I just think in the end, too much Kane and Taves in this series, and which is why I'm taking the Hawks to move on and play the Montreal Canadiens in the Stanley Cup Finals. Blackhawks and Rangers, two major markets going up against each other in the 2014 Stanley Cup Final. I predict Chicago and New York. As this about does it for Sports Kingdom, since we are about out of time, so thank you to the listeners for tuning in today. You can re-listen to this episode on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, Blog Talk Radio. I've been your host, Julian Bradley K. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at jbravosk. Also, make sure to check out photos slash videos from the NFL draft on our website at www.sportskim.us. You can also find articles, um, store items, and much more content on our site. So make sure to go visit that. We'll be back next week. So so I want to thank the listeners for tuning in. I want to thank all of our guests for joining us today. And with that, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace out.